Hello, this is Hamid and in this session I'm gonna teach you how to set up the sub interfaces in Palo Alto Firewall. So as you can see in this diagram, we have uh, two VLANs, one VLAN 10, the other one is VLAN 20 and I'm gonna set the switch first for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 and then I'll set the firewall and the other configurations so in genus 3 you can configure the switch like this um, just uh, look at the diagram because we have the here Ethernet 0 port 0 1 2 and first I delete the unnecessary port because here I need just 0, 1, 2 and as you can see that uh, we port 0 is connected to the firewall and this port is our dot one q port so I change this port port 0 as access to and change it to dot one q and the other one uh, so here I can add that and I double click again for port 1 and port 1 is connected to VLAN 10 so here I just write the VLAN 10 port access mode and add it to the port uh, switch port and again for port 2 is connected to VLAN 20 and I add it to uh, switch so now my switch is configured uh, okay I have to uh, reconfigure it again and disconnect all of the connections because first of all we I remove all of that first and do it very fast zero was uh, that one q here one was vlan 10 i add that and two was vlan 20. so now i connect the uh, switch zero as that one q to Ethernet 1 slash 2 and one was connected to VLAN 1 and the other one was Ethernet 2 connected to VLAN 20 perfect now I'm gonna uh, set the firewall because Ethernet 1 slash 2 we should uh, add two sub interfaces in the firewall so I just connect to the firewall uh, oops. so in the firewall let's go to interfaces here and in the interfaces I don't need the, to set the IP address here so I remove the IP address uh, from ed, ed, interface 1 slash 2 I don't need this one and should be layer 3 and I, I configure this one as two sub interfaces I add two sub interface one of them uh, here we have uh, two concept the tag is your VLAN and this is the interface number so I can name it the same like 10 for VLAN 10 and virtual router default and I can just add some zones here like for VLAN 10 I can say just as the name as the VLAN 
I create a zone for that and for this VLAN I want the IP address to be 101/24 and again I can add another interface sub interface the other one is 20 tag again is the VLAN 20 virtual router default security zone I add the VLAN 20 and I add the IP address here 192.168.21.24 and commit the configuration so here uh, I, j I have to create the policy to allow the traffic from VLAN 1 to uh, outside so I just go to policy and here security policy add a new security policy um, add it for VLAN 10 for VLAN 10 I'm gonna say any traffic from VLAN 10 to destination outside is should be allowed and let me disable or delete this one because I don't need the policy before I create another one for VLAN 20 and VLAN 20 again I'm gonna add the outside so I just want to have a ping application in VLAN 20 so just ping and for VLAN 10 I want every, everything every application to be open so I commit my configuration now and so I committed my configuration the next step is to create the NAT policy so I create a NAT policy here and I call it uh, NAT I can have it uh, the same NAT policy for VLAN 1 and 2 because there's a kind of translation of IP address from VLAN, 1, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 so I translate these two IP address to outside and our outside interface let me see our outside interface is going to be 10 1 Ethernet 1 yep Ethernet 1 and translated packet is going to be IP port interface and uh, this one is going to be Ethernet, Ethernet 1 slash 1 so here just I create a NAT policy for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 so we should be able now to ping from VLAN 20 so I test that ping 8888 so I can ping through the VLAN 20 but if I go to the browser because the application the only application is allowed is ping so if you google.com you cannot reach to the google now let's try in VLAN 10 so in VLAN 10 everything is allowed so I can I should be able to ping 
8888 yes I can and for Google let me browse the website so here google.com oh maybe I don't have a DNS here so I should set the DNS uh, so let me see the DNS is not set so I just put put the 8888 here and turn it off turn it on my interface now you should be able to reach the Google yeah so uh, this is the uh, sub interfaces in uh, Paulo Alto and you can manage the firewall through the sub interfaces I hope this has been informative and thanks for watching